right parenting is one secret mantra which make anything successful no matter human being or any product a good example around us is the apple product which has been very successful because of the way it has been brought up one automobile manufacturer is enjoying such success with a new parenting from the company called Ghibli and the manufacturer is the Volvo they spent around 11 billion after the takeover by Ghibli on the research and development developing a new platform new technologies and new range of products on a new design they started off with the XC90 the success has been continued with the S90 range which has been again followed by V90 in the form of cross country and station wagon and now they have the XC60 and XC40 in the global market now we are going to enjoy one of the most important model for Volvo in India which is the XC60 the predecessor XC60 is a very successful car it's a very reliable refined car we have one in our fleet by one of our directors and he is really enjoying the car even when he clocked around 1 lakh in his order there's one strong element which is Volvo created in India market the trust these cars have been very trustworthy so the customer portfolio is increasing day by day and you can see a lot more Volvos on our roads so with that conference Volvo India is expecting a huge welcome for the XC60 but let's check out if this car is worth enough for that expectation you know Volvo is reinventing their models and it's not different with this new XC60 it's an entirely new car built from scratch a new platform entirely new design nothing has been taken over from the previous XC60 except two things one is the trust and the second is some design cues which make the car distinct from the elder brother so let's check out how it looks and how this identity has been carried on to the new generation XC60 This new Volvo XC60 is following the same design philosophy which we have seen in the bigger brother XC90. But XC60 has got its own individuality in this design which is evident in the front first because you can see the same design has been continued in the grille treatment but the headlight treatment is different. You can see the Toshama LED daytime running light is touching the grille now which is not there in the XC90 which is ended up in the headlight. And the inside the cluster of the LED light is also again uh, attractive. You can see uh, it's well uh, neatly outer the bumper treatment is very simple and minimalistic uh, with small chrome uh, highlights and look very attractive and the hood treatment is also very different the lines are uh, very unique and, and it's got a different identity from the XC90 on coming into the side profile you can see the same uh, proportion and the design uh, treatment has been retained the wheel has given a mild treatment which again look very simple on the side but it has got a, a bold feel on in person uh, there is a different kind of dynamic line on the door which is uh, again a new treatment the chrome stream is a very bold one is giving a lot of presence especially in darker color like this uh, there is enough uh, chrome on the side profile to give that luxury feel there's a indulged roof rail also which again is a purposeful one so and other attraction is a stand out uh, side view mirror which again is a Volvo identity so on side profile the proportion is very much like Volvo especially when it comes to the rear end which I'll explain you so front front and side even though it look very similar to the XC90 XC60 got its own individuality which make it different from the bigger brother when it comes to the rear end you can see a Volvo Volvoish kind of design here which is very familiar with the last generation XC60 and even in the new generation XC90 one is this treatment on the tail light which is a tall tail light which is vertically layouted but we've got a L treatment over here which is extended to the boot lid it's having a very good cluster especially when you eliminate it in the night it look very attractive the slope on the rear window is very much like a Volvo SUV and it's been retained here very well neatly layouted rear end it's got a minimalistic line but it's got some characteristic line which give a masculine feel there's a big bumper with indulged exhaust and it look very organic neatly layouted uh, there is enough uh, chrome to make Make it feel rich from the rear as a indulge spoiler which again look attractive uh, so that same design philosophy written with individuality given for the XC60 which will make it stand apart from the rivals in the market Volvo has fitted a very attractive 19 inch alloy wheel for this car which we are testing it's an inscription model which is coming with 19 inch whereas the R design will be getting a 20 inch and the momentum will be getting a smaller 18 inch wheels so we have seen how Volvo has retained the well accepted design philosophy of exterior and has been carried on to the interior as well they have maintained the same design which has been welcomed by the Volvo customers which are seen in the XC90 and the new S90 series 
The domination of this interior is a 9 inch vertical touch screen which look very different from what we have seen with the rivals. The, almost all the manufacturers are using the horizontal layout whereas Volvo has retained the vertical kind which they believe is very common nowadays with the use of the smartphones. The design is very similar which is the vertical air vent which surrounds the touch screen. The meter console is graphic it but look very attractive but with minimalistic approach of the interior with some goody features with the wood trim and surrounded with the brushed aluminum it look very premium and different from the rivals according to the Volvo's new philosophy there are very less number of switches in the interior most of the controls can be done through this touch screen that's what Volvo believe is the future the steering wheel again is a proper Volvo three spoke with a small hub and all the multifunction which is on hand reach the ergonomics are great and even there is a wide up display which has been offered in this X660 but the highlight of the interior is the top notch quality maintained on the build fit and finish and the materials the leather is great the fit and finish is almost same which we have seen in the XC90 and S90 material also are of good quality which make it stand out from the rivals and make it more premium and unique on its character. So Volvo is always known for making one of the best car seats in the entire industry and the same has been continued in this new XC60 as well. There's a great under thigh support, the back support is great and my favorite is the headrest which is a very unique design which gives a lot of support which normally lack in most of the cars. The rear seat is also great with all the supports and but it is best for two adults and a small kid unlike uh, three full passengers because the transmission tunnel is little big which makes it uncomfortable to keep their food however there is more good features for the seats which is a massage seat function can be controlled from here there are three different varieties and intensity and speed also can be controlled and there's again seat cooling system which can be controlled on touch all these factors make this living space in this new xc60 a great one there's a vast space for your luggage in the boot and there is a couple of good features which make it more comfortable to use the boot one is the height adjustment system which is available with touch of a button which lower the rear end of the car with few inches making it easy for us to get the heavy luggages inside and second is the boot tray which can be adjusted in two way normal conventional way and the second way is to adjust upwards so that we don't have to pull it off fully to keep small luggages minute attention to detail are some element which make the Volvo cars look premium which is seen in this new XC60 as well you can see the flag over here which is a Swedish flag which is one identity which I really love on Volvo's Apollo stream as we have seen in the earlier XC90 and S90 all the start button and drive mode selection switches are given some kind of grafting which is again minute details to attentions box and Wilson sound system is known in Volvo cars with this XC60 they have brought a 19 speaker unit which again is a beautiful sound system you can adjust the sound modes in different manner like the concert studio different kind and even you can individualize in a way that when the car is occupied with only one passenger the music will be concentrated to that that one passenger giving more accuracy to the music which you love new xc60 come with three interior colors the car which we drive now has got maroon brown which is one color which i love the most other than the light beige color which is india's favorite one and some and different yellowish color as you all aware the volvo now follow a downsizing engine philosophy which is why we don't see a v6 or v8 in volvo cars anymore what we have here is a D5 powertrain which is a sub 2 litre turbo diesel engine which is powering both the XC90 and S90s with an output of 235 HP and 480 Nm of torque. But the advantage for the XC60 over here is that it is 200 kg lighter than the XC90 so the power to weight ratio is more in this car so it's performing very well. It's mated to a 8 speed ZF gearbox and it's got all wheel drive system and it's also good enough for mild off-roading than do a hardcore off-roading. You can select different drive mode over here with the rotary knob and according to the driving mode the height also get adjusted if you are on an off-road mode because the car will raise in few centimeters if you're selecting the comfort mode it will come down and on a second stage if you're putting onto dynamic mode it will again come down for more dynamism on the road the steering is again speed sensitive light steering it's good on command you can maneuver it as you require and it's also having a very efficient brake system but the advantage but the key elements of Volvo S60 is that it's one of the few cars which is having active radar system in Indian roads It's the fifth car from Volvo with the radar system one such feature is this lane keeping assist which is like if you're tending to put the car to the 
right or if you're trying to cross the line you'll try to steer and come back to the right lane with a small jerk on the steering if you want to overtake and engage the side indicators then the system won't get activated however Volvo don't recommend to take the hands off other feature are the side vehicle assist which is actually a beeping sound and a steering vibration will be there again and there's a signal on the side view mirror which which blink to show how close the vehicles are however all the system can be deactivated with the touch of a button and one highlighted feature is the parking assist which can be done even perpendicular and parallel parking which you have seen in the S90 is available with the XC60 as well. So all the safety features are key element of Volvo. You know Volvo claimed to be one of the most safest cars. It will be competing with the cars like the Mercedes GLC, BMW X3, Audi Q5 and the new Lexus NX. To compete with these rivals Volvo has got its own weapons and Volvo is very confident about grabbing their portion of the cake from the market. So thank you for watching this review of the all new XC60. If you like the review, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get all the updates as soon as we upload the videos.